Solway, welcome to the Roman Bats of Aquasulis. My name is Alan Chu, and I will be your tour guide for today. Um, for the project, I chose option four, which is basically restoring the bats. And yeah, let's go take a look inside. So, over here is the main entrance, basically the lobby to the main bats, and basically the whole area. If we go up here, there's a small viewing area from the top, and that's basically the purpose of the stairs, basically. Yeah. And right here, I've decided to add an even greater viewing area. It's basically just higher, and you can see the whole complex from here. Basically, all these bats over here, and the springs, and the main bats. Okay. Those are the hot springs. I'll get to them later, later to the end of this tour. Okay. Now, let's head into the main bats. When we decided to restore these main bats, it didn't change much. We just made the columns look cleaner and just restyled the floor. Other than that, this place is almost the same, with the same water from lo a long time ago flowing from the hot springs through strain. And yeah, that's basically the same thing. And it's definitely probably the main attraction here. It's a huge bath where people go to just chill and have fun, basically. Yeah. All right. So basically, this is the Frigidarium. This is a cold room. Basically, no heat provided. It's just water sitting there that's just extremely cold. And basically, it's pretty much a warm up, <laughs> warm up for these other bats in the house that I'll be getting to later. It's just a cold room that you just chill and sit there not for too long. But yeah. The next place we're going to be going to is called the Tepidarium. This is basically tepid, a warm room. Basically, uh, I don't know what this cat is doing here, did not ever place him, but I'll leave him there because he's kind of cute. But like, yeah, this is the warm room, uh, mostly heated by the sunlight, and there is a small, big hypocost system beneath it, but not much heat going to it. Not as hot as a Calzarium that we'll be getting to on later. There's some racks hooks to hang your togas and stuff. Okay. This is the Apoditrium. I don't know if I pronounced it right. I'm sorry for if I mispronounced it. And this is the Hypocost system. Basically combined into one. So. This is the changing room, basically. Which people just, like, you know, change their clothes. And uh, slaves take care of them. Like this one. I don't have uh, any, like, the mod with, like, Roman slaves. But I think villagers would do it. They just represent the Roman slaves. This is the hypocost system we're going to be going down and exploring. So to my right, this is the hypocost system actually under the Caldarium. There's four great furnaces here that basically are the uh, source of heat for these ventilating systems. Right here is the big air channel that produces, that, that produces, that like, you know, filters out the heat into these other channels. And this is basically the hypocost system, which gives the Caldarium its heat. And to the left, it's basically just a tepidarium, but just like less heat. And there's a big channel, but it's not very hot. It's still it's still filtering, like like ventilating the system, but it's less hot than the caldar. Okay, next step is the palaestra. This is basically the exercise area. Okay. Yeah. So here is a, basically in the exercise area that we're the palaestra. People run around, have fun, and basically, you know, it's to make up sweat for later when you get the cleaning. And yeah, it's just go all, all around great time. And this is the Caldarium. This is the hot room I've been talking about for so long. There's just two villagers randomly looking at each other. But regardless, this is the hot room. Basically, where people get in, and it's just extremely hot, and for some reason the weather is raining. But anyways, it's a hot room where people get into the bats to, you know, sit there. It's like a jacuzzi. It's a great time. Okay, now let's go to the Laconicum. Basically, this is the sweat room where you sit there and wait for sweat to build up. And later on, you go to the Unctorium, which is basically a room 
where you just oh uh, okay where you just lay on beds and have people use a steagle 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 I'm not sure how to pronounce it but basically you use it to clean off any dirty things off their bodies apparently the sweat helps get the dirty things off the body it's basically a cleaning session here and yeah for the main bats we're basically done but let's go do the springs right here this is the main uh, springs this is also the temple of Minerva and we'll head in the way we restored the um, temple of Minerva or the sacred springs is we refurnished the, uh, the floor and restored some of these arches made them look better and yeah basically it looks like the same thing and people come here to like do like you know curses and stuff and prayers and stuff to the goddess Minerva and yeah they make offerings and they throw it into this bath not bath but spring yeah to that that ends our tour of the Roman baths I hope you enjoyed it thanks for watching